factors in the general vector space are fine, but for many computations our normal vectors in the RIN are much nicer. Can we link those general vectors in some way to our normal vectors? Yes, we can. We will use the coordinate vectors for this. We will learn what those coordinate vectors are in this video. Suppose we have some vector space V and some basis uh, B, consisting of vectors B, B1 up till Bn. Well, V may be some nasty vector space with polynomials or whatever, so those basis vectors B1 up till Bn will be some nasty vectors, some polynomials. Suppose I have some x in my vector space V, then I can write this x in terms of my base vectors in a unique way, uh, with weights C1 until Cn. And now the nice part is those weights are just numbers, those weights are scalars, those weights are numbers in Rn. That's what the basis is. I can express any vector x in my vector space V in terms of my basis vectors by weights. And those weights are numbers. Well, if I have those numbers C1 up to Cn, I can put those numbers, of course, in a vector, and this vector is called the coordinate vector of x with respect to uh, the basis B. And the nice part of this coordinate vector is, is that this coordinate vector is a vector consisting of numbers C1 up to Cn. So this coordinate vector is a normal vector in Rn, so which tells us it contains all the information of our original vector x, which was in V. So now I can choose whether to use my x, which may be some polynomial or whatever, something not so nice, or whether I can use my xb, its coordinate vector. Well, how does that work? Well, if I have an uh, easy basis, like uh, when we pick v vector space equals p2, polynomials up to degree 2, and a standard basis 1 tt squared, then it's really easy to see what the coordinate vector is. So if I have a polynomial, for example, 2 minus 3t plus 4t squared, what will be the coordinate vector? Well, that, uh, the, coordinates contain, uh, the coordinate vector contains the wage which I need to put in front of the base vectors 1, t and t squared in order to get my polynomial 2 minus 3t plus 4t squared. So what weights do I have? Well, I have a 2 times, min a two times 1, first a base vector, uh, minus 3 times t, second base basis vector, plus 4 times t squared, a third basis vector. So my coordinate vector will just be 2 minus 3, 4, a vector in R3. So if you have a standard basis, you can see straight away what the coordinate vector is. Now, finally, already for later purposes, what we're actually doing is the following. We have a so-called coordinate map, phi b, going from vector space v to our Rn. And this phi b, this coordinate map, assigns to every point in the vector space, so to any x in the vector space, its coordinate vector in Rn. So actually you have a map linking your vectors in V to normal vectors in Rn by a mapping called phi, uh, phi b, and the x will be in V, and the nice part is that the xb will be in Rn. So that's what we are going to use later on.